Welcome, I'll show you different techniques by which you can solve this integral, but in this video we're going to use Laplace transforms, which I think is the most efficient way to go about uh, solving this integral. Now recall that uh, the Laplace transform of some function f of t, which is denoted like this and called capital F of s, uh, the Laplace transform of any function f of t is called capital F of s, it's equal to, it's equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus st times f of t dt. And so, um, applying this definition, applying this definition of the Laplace transform for the function f of t is equal to sine t over t, we'd get that the Laplace transform of sine t over t is first this, and this is just the definition, and we know from differential equations that the Laplace transform of sine t over t is equal to tan inverse of 1 over s. In my differential equations video section, um, I have many videos covering the Laplace transform, so you can watch those to learn more. But yeah, we know that the Laplace transform for the function sine t over t is equal to tan inverse of 1 over s. Now, with this then, um, since this here, tan inverse of 1 over s, is capital F of s, uh, if we look at capital F of 0, look at what happens. Capital F of 0 would equal, first, here in this integral definition of the Laplace transform for sine t over t, we'd have to replace this s here with 0, right? That's how we'd get capital F of 0, right? This s 0 means this s here is 0, right? It also means sending this s here to 0, right? Okay, so first let's highlight that. Notice the capital F of 0 means the integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus 0t, which is just e to the 0 or 1, right? And then sine t over t, and notice then uh, capital F of 0 is the integral that we want to solve, the integral that we started off with here. It's just that we have t's here and x's here, and that doesn't make a difference, right? Now, capital F of 0 on the one hand is this, but on the other hand, it is this here as s goes to 0. So it is equal to the integral that we want, but also equal to the limit is s goes to 0 of tan inverse of 1 over s. But as s goes to 0, 1 over s goes to infinity, and therefore tan inverse goes to pi over 2, our final answer. Yeah? Cool. All right. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, lots more to come. Keep watching. Take care.